Anaku. Uh, this is aside from basic one, one, two, and three. In case I want to, Anaku, sixth kata in our series. This should be for our green belts. Going to blue? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, so Anaku. Uh, sorry for the wind, by the way. So hopefully it's not too loud, or else I'm gonna have to re-record this. Bright side, it's windy out here, and it's actually 99 degrees, so it's helping cool Daniel and I off. Okay, so our main lesson for Bonkai, from, or for Anaku, from a Bonkai's perspective, is going to be elbow locks and shoulder locks. Uh, you know, it, the Geisai was about unbalancing, Wansu was about limb control. This is another variation of limb control, where we're coming into the elbow here and getting that locked up and trying to work towards the outside. So we don't really have any of the inside elbow locks, A, because I'm not a fan of them, because he's got another hand that can punch me easier. And when I'm outside, it's really hard for him to smack me this way. So a lot of it's going to relate around this locking position. So um, let's get into the Bonkai, and I'll explain a little bit more how to do that when we get to section two. There's actually going to be four sections in this kata. All right, fingers crossed the wind's not too bad. All right, so section one. So we decided to uh, refilm this part mainly because we've been working some slight variations on our opening Bonkai, and I thought it'd be great to incorporate them here. So first section of Anaku is stepping left foot back, hands are coming up, stepping back in that horse stand, throw them down, prep on the right, shoot to the left, prep on the left, shoot to the right. Um, for the sake of the Bonkai, as opposed to stepping backwards, especially if you throw on a right hook, I step backwards, if I miss this block, I might sweep it here, but I'm also too far away to do that. We're going to step in instead. So he throws this right hook, and I'm going to step in here. Now in the kata, we're showing it as an X, but instead I'm just hitting throat, and I'm hitting arm, mainly so I can get some limb control right away. So that is our opening move here. Now, the pulling back here has a few different things it's going to be. I'm going to show you one of the variations, but we're going to primarily work a different one. So again, he throws that right hook. I hit it here, especially if I've got enough room to get around the head. I lock it into this guillotine, and that pulling back is what's pulling him off balance there. Um, for the sake of our flow drill, we're going to go to a, a few different ones. So he throws that right hook. I'm hitting it here. Now, right away, if I want to, since I've got this limb control, my first shoot, though, is moving to the left. So I'm going to switch this across. I'm going to set my leg behind him, and I'm going to shoot though across there. We'll show that again from the other side, just so you guys said Again, he throws right hook. I come here, hit, switch to the other side, and I can either come across the throw, or I can drop the elbow down to the chest to make his legs collapse that way. So that's first variation. Flow drill is going to be a little bit more on the second variation. So again, he starts that same way. And just to be clear, too, if he throws left hook on this like, that way, I can still work a lot of these movements in on him. Just the idea is getting those hands up, one to interrupt the punch, the other one to get this forearm either into the throat or across the face. So he throws this hook punch here, boom, I hit. Maybe I'm starting to pull down to get that head out of the way, or he's just moving his head out of the way either way here, and he starts to throw that second shot. So now this prep movement is blocking here. I get the first shoot, though, and then I come across to do it on the opposite side. So kind of a fun way to work this one is he throws right shot, boom, hit, step right in for the first shoot, though, it's basically done. Or, especially for flow drill, he's going to do a right shot. One, he throws left shot. I get my first shoot, though. Second shoot, though, taking him down there. Section two. Now let's do the elbow lock. All right, uh, so I'm going to teach this first, and hopefully the best way. We'll, I'll probably have him do different sides. Now, one of the first ways I learned how to do this one is coming off of a punch. He comes in with a right punch. My left hand has to come outside of his wrist while simultaneously, that's left, sorry, my left hand comes outside of his wrist. My, my right hand comes this way, almost like I'm throwing a ridge hand into his elbow. I bring it up and turn it over here. So that's how I first learned it, which obviously if somebody's throwing a full speed punch, that's really hard to catch. Really cool if you can do it, but like near impossible. Let's be realistic. This could also be from a grab. He's grabbing my sleeve here. Again, hand outside, inside the arm taking it this way. And that is that outside elbow lock there. To show it from the other side so you can see it, he throws left punch, center line, <laughs> outside the arm, inside the elbow pit, hitting it, taking it up this way. You can lock it against the body, which we'll see here in a moment. Uh, and there's that. Now, those are, like I just said, really hard. There is a slightly easier way to do this. So if he's throwing right punch, I basically start with an inside out block with my left grabbing the wrist, and then the right hand comes inside out block this way. Same thing, if he throws left hand, one, two. If he throws the other one, this kind of could be a good drill to work on this one, if you were to work 
a drill just for both sides because on a coup we go both directions and you want to be able to work both sides. This would be a great way to do it. Just they throw one punch, you come almost like you're coming in a double shot, but as opposed to this hand being up, it's low so it can hit it here. He throws the other side, one, two. So here's another way to work second two, as opposed to the hook coming and I block it this way. Now we can also be working it from grappling. So we're here. My goal is though is I want to get limb control. Preferably outside limb control, but inside limb control works as well. So once I've already got control, that's taking out this whole first part of getting into it. I've just got that limb control, and I pull him around here. He throws the other side. Oh, sorry, we're grappling. He doesn't have to throw the other side. I get control of the other side and pull it over here. All right, so the section of the kata that we're doing, so we've just hit the shoot, though. We set to the left, center block, punch, punch, kick, pull back, power punch. There are some schools where they're just block, punch, punch, and then they throw the kicks up at the top part. Um, for our bonkai, we're, we're, and for how we run our kata, we always just have the, uh, the kick and the power punch every single time. Um, so what we're going to do, though, is it mostly just focuses on that first move. So he throws this punch here, and I'm going to come right hand, left hand, center block. Because this is the first move of the kata here, of this section, is this left block. Now, what I want to be able to do is take this hand and turn my palm so the bottom part of my fist, like my hammer fist, is coming here to lock into the shoulder, and I'm going to squeeze it tight to the body. Now, I'm breaking it down slow. Ideally, this should be fast. He throws that left punch. One, two, boom, here. Now, once I've got this position, it's really hard. He might try to back swing this at me, but I've got control here. I can punch to the back of the head. I can dig a knuckle in. I can come here. I can come across the throat. I can throw a kick. Our basic goal for working this uh, part of the flow drill, or part of the bunkai here, sorry, ahead of myself with flow drills is to get this hand locked up boom here throw some strikes so if we want to show the punch punch kick punch not just like hey we've got control and we're hitting as many times as we can we can sort of work this in here i've got his he throws his first shot i've got my center block here i'm going to punch the back of that notice still got it trapped i'm going to grab here onto his uh collar onto his gi whatever i can get a hold of if i need his hair his ear I'm going to hyperextend it up. This is lifting the center mass up. And now this kick in the kata is kicking this leg out. And then I'm pulling it back. This is the pullback in the kata, right? And then my reverse punch is supposed to go in that way. He's already down. Ah! Didn't know it was coming, did he? <laughs> so that's what we're doing. Clear, strike, lift him up, kick out the leg, throw him down, reverse punch. All right. This section, section three. It's coming from the sex section of double shoot those you step at least for our style right leg forward high block short punch hit him in the ribs grab punch key ah, yeah and those are the three moves some styles have it left leg right leg step drag um i'm sure there's probably about 100 other different variations of it but ours is all right leg uh for the sake of working here it's not going to be much of a difference uh which leg you have in front except for at the very end you really want right leg in front so uh, we can do this one off the punch, but especially for our follow-up shot, we want to do this one off of a grab of some sort. He's coming in for a grab, so we could also do this while we're grappling. So from a grapple here, whatever it's going to be, um, especially too, maybe he's coming in for a choke. I'm coming this way here. And the kind of we show it as a short, a block short punch, so it could be one hand here, boom. But what we're going to then do is we're going to lock up underneath the arms here, trying to make sure we get behind the elbow on both sides. And we're gonna take our knuckles and we're gonna grind them into the chest this way. So you can see it is here, but with his arm locked up. So he's coming for his grab, boom, lock up the arm, push. And now our next move, this is the tricky part, is the hand out press. Once I've got this here, I'm pushing my left elbow across towards my right hip, and then I got my follow up strike there. So again, let's do it this way, he's coming for his grab, boom, one. Lock up the arms, push the chest, left hand opens up, strike. Right through there. All right, that's section three. Section four! This just comes from a block, punch, punch, kick, punch. It's left hand comes out, pressing block, step in, elbow strike, throw them down, jump punch, PI, skip back, center block, step across, kick, land, down block, reverse punch, center block, in with the shoot those from Juan Su. Uh, now, there are some styles of this kata, and we're going to use this slightly in our bunkai, where they hit instead of skipping back at center block, they hit and immediately center block. That's going to come into play. All right, so um, this, again, can be done from grappling, but I like for the sake of teaching.
teaching it, doing it off of a right punch. Because this pressing block tends to show here as blocking a big right hook punch. Uh, a little bit harder to block on a straight right punch, but a right hook punch here. I step in, elbow strike to the face. Now what I'm going to do, I've got a few different throws, but the one we're going to work is the Seonage, the one-arm throw. And I'm going to shoot this underneath here, pick him up, throw him down. Now, if you just want to work that throw, be careful. Get padding. Make sure your partner knows how to fall. Uh, but for the sake of working our bunkai for this, we're going to start the throw and they're going to escape out of it just so we can work some farther uh, farther parts of this. There was no other place I could put my Seonagi throw in there. And I really wanted to put this throw in here. All right, so he throws that punch. I'm blocking, elbow striking. If I want to, I can grab the collar, come across and make it a marote Seonagi, double Seonagi. But for here, we're going to go for it. And as I start to do it, he hops off here. Now, as he's pulling away right away, I punch him in, pull him into the punch. Pop it up to the center line. There is that elbow lock again. Now, if I want to here, I can stomp on the foot, or I can kick his leg here. But the next move is actually step across, right kick to the face. Now, what I'm going to do from here, and hopefully I don't throw a thin angle into the wall, is my next move after I kick is a down block. So here I'm going to transfer this right arm across, come across the throw here, and take him down to the Sotogari throw. So the two different throws. We got it. Seonagi, punch, lock, kick, come for it across, so I get attacked by a leaf, <laughs> um, and go for the uh, Osotogari, where you're coming behind, bringing it down that way, then your punch can be on the ground, locking up an arm, your shoot those can be an arm bar if you really want them to be, might be excessive, but fun to work, but for now, just getting it there. Now, one of the cool parts for this, again, if he's over here, he throws that left punch, other left hand, elbow, strike. Seonagi, he jumps off, I've hit him with the punch, lock up the arm, stomp, kick. If I start to come across, as long as I keep control of his right arm with my left hand here at the wrist, if I start to come across and he pulls this leg out from underneath, well great, now I just lock it up again. There's that last center block. The shoot those if we want to, bring them down this way. So, a good way to play with this one here is you go for the Asoto, have him come out by stepping out of the way, lock it up again. There is that lock, finishing him however you want to there. We do kind of miss a throw, uh, a one extra punch there if we don't take him down, but that's it. All right, so another option for this Sotogari, as opposed to unwinding and then coming this way for classic Sotogari, since we've already got this locked up, we can grab a hold of Daniel's shirt and then go for it for the pull down. Real quick, we'll show you that again from the other side. So I'm just saying it up, I jump, hit, relock, I get this kick, and I'm grabbing here on the top, checking the leg as I pull down from the uh, the gi there. Now, of course, if you're fighting somebody without a shirt on, you might have to unwind and go for the classic Sotogari. That way, that's another option for a way to do that. And we're going to include that here when we get to the flow drill. All right, so onto the flow drill, putting all four parts of these together. Hopefully, I don't mess it up and have to record it. <laughs> Alright, so uh, starting with the opening moves, he comes in with this right hook here, boom, I strike the neck, he comes, throws the other side, I clear, strike the shooto this way, coming behind, go to shooto here. Now, he's going to start to skate here, but right away, I'm going to turn, go into section two and lock up this arm. Grab an hole or whatever, I strike to strike here, maybe I kick, but he starts to straighten out this arm, maybe I left that control, he comes in with the other punch, high block here, notice I kept limb control. Lock up the arms, dig it into the chest. Stretch him out, strike. I'm already in the right position. I don't need to re-block, so I can just throw with this elbow strike. Come for the Seonagi. Oh, as I trap his foot. He comes out. I strike. Relock the arm. Possible stomp, but definitely a kick. Come for the Osotogari. Take him down here. Strike. Possible arm bar, or just kick and run away. All right, we're going to do it one more time from the other side. From the other side, he throws this right hook. Boom. Opening move here, hitting the neck and arm. He throws the other punch. I shoot though this way, come behind, hit as he tries to escape this leg. I relock it up, strike him here. If he tries to get this arm out, he throws the other punch. I get my control into section three, dig into the chest, stretch him out, strike. Are we on screen? We're right at the edge. So luckily I'm taking it that way. Elbow strike, come for the Seonagi. He jumps out. I'm going to punch, relock the arm, kick, a Sotogari, strike, strike, kick, run away, whatever you want to at that point once they're down. So. Flow drills, where you guys have fun with it.